What is going on guys? We got a unboxing for you today. Kinda maybe a review. I can't really review it yet because we gotta use this for our Devil Forge. If you haven't checked out my Devil Forge videos, it was the last three videos. It's a whole three part um compilation of unboxing the Devil Forge and then putting it together and all that stuff. So you can check that out, and then here's some more items that we're going to need in order to use the Devil Forge correctly. So this right here is an infrared thermometer, non-contact. So uh, this is a heavy, heavy-duty one. It's not going to, um, you can't use this for humans. It's not, it's not for the coronavirus. So uh, if you're looking for a thermometer, infrared thermometer for humans, please, sorry, but this is not for you. Um, I think it even says it, um, right here, right here. Avoid exposure. Laser radiation is emitted from this aperture. Yeah, so definitely you got to be careful with all this stuff. I paid around, uh, 50 bucks, I believe for this item right here. I'm gonna post a link in the description where you can uh, go over and check the item out for yourself. It is the InfuRider or InfraRider. And I got this off of Amazon, of course. So right off the bag, it looks a lot bigger than it did in the pictures, which is pretty awesome. really big actually i thought this was going to be a lot smaller than this now i understand the price point at first i was like i don't understand why this thing is so expensive i couldn't find one for underneath like 45 bucks but even the cheaper ones didn't go as high as the heat um i want to melt copper so i want to i needed one that can get up to almost 3000 degrees fahrenheit now i've never used one of these before so we're just going to see what we can do with it right now just so i can give you guys a kind of cool view this is probably like the second or third from cheapest one i could find but i did like how it had a lot of uh features it has this uh clip you can hang it from it or you can uh put it onto your clothes and then also we have this awesome uh screw screw hole and the screw hole is actually you could put this on a tripod which i thought that was pretty cool let's see it came with its battery and there is a couple more things in this box or it's just one more thing and it came with a little case and i love cases because it keeps all my tools safe from moisture and all that stuff I like to drop a good silica pad in there keep help it from not rusting as much And there we are. We have a screwdriver. I'm pretty sure we're going to need that to put the battery in. It's nice that they include that. We have some warranty. And then the other side is for me. It's a coupon. Then we have the bag. And the bag even has like a little folder pocket in there. But let's get down to the business. The really good stuff. What we came here for. We have the battery. Hmm. Yep. Even though I don't like to read the instructions, we're gonna have to read the instructions. Look at the uh, size of that piece of glass in there. So you can only imagine, like the laser. I think I, it looks like there's actually four separate laser diodes in there. Heavy duty. This is probably really dangerous. Once again, do not use this for human, like for skin or yourself. Let's see, let's go over the simple stuff just so we can figure out how to get the battery in there and stuff. Say. 
compact, rugged, and easy to use. Just aim and push the button, read the current surface temperatures in less than a second. Safely measure surface temperatures of hot, hazardous, or hard to reach objects without contact. This is exactly what I need it for. How it works. We don't need that. Check cautions. Warning. Okay, here's what we need. Quick start instructions. With screwdriver, then so remove the battery cover with a screwdriver and then slide out the battery door. Install battery correctly, assemble the battery cover, pull the trigger, LCD display reading and battery icon. Release the trigger and the reading will hold for 30 seconds. There's our screw. Screws right there in the middle. There's where our battery goes. take this off so I can get to that screw a lot better. Definitely gonna want to grab your old screwdriver because and maybe a pair of pliers because that was pretty difficult with the screwdriver being so small. But we got it. Pop this one back on. And there we have it. So let's see if we can So a lot of different settings when you press mode, you see max, min, DNF, average. Looks like Record. Let me see with this lighter real quick if we can. Yeah, I think we're reading the fire. It's reading in Celsius. I don't know how to put it into Fahrenheit right now, and I'm not going to read all the instructions for you guys. But 
There you guys have it. It seems like it works pretty fine. Seems pretty heavy duty. Turns off by itself. I think that's pretty cool. But there you guys have it. Check the link out in the description. Get yourself one if you are thinking about getting into the metal melting.